Hey, Cup of Sales Joe. So this is a new feature of the Monday message that's available on my YouTube channel, and I'm calling this Another Cup. This is where I'm going to go off script a little bit about a particular topic that I have a lot of thoughts about, and I think they'd be useful. So if you're really enjoying the Monday message, but you maybe want to dig a little more into a particular topic, this is what this is for. Because if you're familiar with my creative process with the Monday message, what I do is I wind up putting together all my thoughts about a particular topic and distilling that into a script. Now, that script isn't word for word. It's more of an outline, but it is extensive. And then I whittle that down a little bit more. And in in reality, my messages could be twice as long as they are. But what I try to do is give you the most bang for your buck. Really be as concise as possible. Because as you all know, I definitely ascribe to the Mark Twain quote, if I'd had more time, I'd have written a shorter book. So this is giving me a chance to go off script and just riff a little bit verbally about a particular topic. So I want to talk about more in how operating with certainty, with no doubt, manifests itself in ourselves, in our work. First off, there is definitely some credence, even though in my message I talked about You shouldn't really try to fake it till you make it. It's better to be in touch with reality because we as, whether you want to call yourself a type A personality or simply somebody who's driven, goal-oriented, you will self-correct anytime you see reality not matching what you want to see happening. So to fool yourself, that's not really what we want because we're too smart for that. But what we do want to do is use visualization, realizing that even though a goal might be in the future, we can think about what it's like to accomplish it. That actually infuses us with energy because what that does, visualization, positive visualization of a future goal being accomplished actually combats doubt. It gives us a level of certainty around getting there because we believe it's possible. If we don't do this, if you don't regularly engage your subconscious in visualization of where you want to be, then our logical mind, our prefrontal cortex, will actually always see that as a future event, not now. And we will have that feeling of lack or what you might say, doubt about getting there, because it's always going to be in the future. So while I don't believe in fake it till you make it, what I do believe is putting some kind of preemptive belief into ourselves, because we are all subject to influence of what's around us, our environment. And if our environment continually shows us what's possible in a positive way, well, then we are going to continue to believe we can get there. But what if your environment doesn't? What if your environment really actually counteracts what you believe is possible? We all know the stories about people who immigrate to the United States with next to nothing and build a empire. It's it's akin to operating with no doubt, the optimism, the belief, the confidence. That all comes from seeing ourselves where we want to be. So faking it isn't the case. But if you put yourself where you want to be, let's let's use a specific example. Let's put some meat on the bone here. Let's say you want to make it to President's Club. If you've never been, by the way, Just go on social media or talk to someone who's gone. Ask them, so what was President's Club like? It's kind of like talking about your own children. No one will hesitate, and you will get more than you were even asking for because it is an incredible experience. But again, if you haven't been there, I encourage you to talk to somebody who has 
and put yourself in a position where you see yourself there. Because without doing that, you're always going to wonder, can I make it? Can I earn that? Is that possible? Now, if you've done it before, well, you have that belief. I have no doubt that I can make it to President's Club. And in fact, the year after you go to President's Club, that's really driven because you have that recency bias. You know what it's like, and you don't want to ever miss another one. Think about a goal you have right now. Have you spent some time immersing your mind and your thoughts in what it's going to be like to accomplish that? What would it be like to earn your biggest bonus ever? To achieve that goal? What would it feel like? And and how does that infuse you physiologically? Where do you feel that? Do you smile? Do you just relax into yourself knowing that you did what you intended? Whatever that feeling is, believe me, you can harness it. Again, that's not fake it till you make it. That is visualization and belief, all combating the natural doubt that creeps in. Now, how often do you have to do this? We're all different. Some people can visualize once a week and that sends them on their way. Me personally, if I don't do it every day, I at least need to do it every other day or close to that because I start to lose touch with that belief and the doubt will creep in. Believe me, the world out there will give you plenty of things to doubt. Plenty of reasons to not have confidence that you'll get where you want to be. But that's exactly why you have to do this. Exactly why visualization and belief are so important. I, again, have no doubt that you can get where you want to be. The trick is, do you believe it? And how much do you believe it? So thanks for joining me for another cup.